Hi, welcome back. Ah, oh, isn't today a lovely day? The sun is shining. It's so beautiful out. Ah, oh, I am having such a good day. I am so happy. And what about you? Are you having a good day? I am glad. And if you're not, I hope this story makes you feel better. Ooh, hey, look who it is. That is Daisy the dog. Very good. Oh, does Daisy look happy? No, I think she looks a little bit... Ah! Why? Why is she like... Ah! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> That's right. The car is whoosh, going to splash her with water. Hmm. There's something else that's different about Daisy. Can you see what's different? <coughs> Look at what she's wearing. <coughs> Look at what she's wearing. What is she wearing? She's not wearing a pink t-shirt like she always does. She has on an orange t-shirt and she has on blue jeans. She doesn't have her normal overalls on. That's weird. I wonder why. Shall we find out? Let's read the storybook. The Worst Day Ever Written by Amelia C. Ishitan. Story illustrated by Altai Sanbai. For my dear friend Seizin, who is always there for me, good days and bad. Daisy the dog was having a bad Monday. She woke up in a bad mood, feeling tired. As she was getting dressed, a button on her favorite suspenders bing, flew off. Oh no! exclaimed a sad daisy. So Daisy put on a pair of plain blue jeans instead. While Daisy was brushing her teeth, she used too much toothpaste and it dripped all over her t-shirt. Oh no, now I have to change again, moaned Daisy. So Daisy changed her t-shirt. <laughs> now Daisy was <gasps> uh, running late. She ran to the bus stop <laughs> to catch the bus. Ah, <gasps> oh, but she had just missed it. Ah, uh, hey, wait up, shouted Daisy. But nobody noticed Daisy. <sighs> Daisy decided to walk to school. She was nearly there when a car on the road drove through a large puddle, splashing her with water. Oh no, exclaimed Daisy. Now her clothes were wet. By the time her clothes were dry, it was playtime. Daisy went to play in the school garden. Huh? <sighs> Daisy was sitting under a tree in the garden when she heard a ploop, plop. A warm liquid ran down her face. <gasps> 
now, Daisy. A bird had pooped on her head. <coughs> Daisy burst into tears. Oh, she was upset. This was turning into the worst day ever. <laughs> Daisy ran into the school, crying loudly. Daisy went straight to the girl's bathroom to wash her face and hands. Daisy didn't know it, but Ginny the giraffe was coming to see what was wrong. She had seen Daisy run away, crying, and she wanted to help her friend. <laughs> What's the matter, Daisy? Why are you crying? Ginny asked when she got to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm having the worst day ever, Daisy hiccuped. Everything is going wrong today. First, my suspenders broke. Then I got toothpaste all over me. After that, I missed the school bus, so I had to walk to school. I got splashed by a car. And just now, a bird pooped on my head. Oh my, replied Ginny. That really does sound like a bad day. Ginny gave Daisy a big hug. Bird poop and all. Oh, ye. <laughs> Here, let me help you wash your hair. Is that okay? Daisy nodded. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She was glad that her friend was there. Ginny began to wash Daisy's hair in the bathroom sink. You know, Daisy, Whenever a lot of bad things happen, my mom always says, when it rains, it pours, but that the sun always comes out tomorrow, said Ginny. Hmm? Daisy looked at Ginny, confused. Uh, what does that mean? asked Daisy. Hmm, Ginny shrugged. I don't know, but it always makes my mom feel better. Daisy smiled and said, Thank you for being such a good friend, Ginny. I love you. I love you too, Daisy. You are always there for me. Now it is my turn to be there for you. That's what friends are for. That night, Daisy drank a cup of calming chamomile tea and went to bed early. All night it was stormy. It rained cats and dogs. Lightning flashed across the sky. The wind howled. And the thunder rolled. Daisy heard nothing. She slept like a baby. <laughs> Daisy woke up early the next day. She was smiling, well rested and in a great mood. She looked out the window and gasped. <gasps> wow! The terrible storm was over. Outside her window was the most beautiful sky. The sun was up and a beautiful rainbow painted the sky. Now I understand, Daisy thought. Today is a new day and it is going to be great. That is such a funny story, isn't it? Daisy was not having a good day, was she? It was the worst day ever. What happened to Daisy? Can you remember? 
her suspender button, the button on her suspenders, wing, flew off. She got toothpaste on her t-shirt. She missed the school bus. She got splashed with water and she got soaked in water. And then what happened? Yeah, a bird pooped on her head. That's a really bad day, isn't it? Do you ever have bad days? Of course you do. Everyone has bad days. What does a bad day look like for you? Do you wake up in a bad mood like Daisy? Maybe a toy of yours breaks. Maybe you lose something that you love. Like you, you lose a toy. You lose some money like Robert the Rabbit. Hmm. Hmm. What happened to make Daisy feel a bit better on her bad day? Ginny the giraffe. Ginny the giraffe came and made Daisy feel loved. She helped Daisy, didn't she? She washed her hair. She gave her a hug. If you are having a bad day, what would you like your friends to do to help you? So what do you think you should do if your friends are having a bad day? What could you do? And one final question. Can we have all good days or all bad days? Hmm? No. Some days we will have bad days. And some days we will have good days. And some days we will have days where it's part good, part bad mixed. But even if a day is really, really bad, just like a terrible storm, every storm has to end. Every night ends and it becomes day. And then your rainbow will come out. You can have a great day the next day. So the next time you're having a really bad day, don't worry it will get better. You will find your rainbow. Maybe you'll find it by going to bed early and getting some extra sleep. Maybe one of your friends will help you to make you laugh and smile again. But there is always a rainbow. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.